Okay, let's begin our look at Dr. Feelgood here by first talking about the tuning that they're in. Um, this tuning, I usually teach the videos that I do in standard tuning, even if the song is tuned differently, like if it's tuned down a half step, um, uh, just to help people out with floating trim systems who can't retune the guitar that easily. For this song though, I decided to teach it in the actual tuning that it's in because it is so essential to the song, the tuning. Um, it just doesn't really sound right in standard tuning. So we're going to do this in the tuning that they're doing it in. What he does is he tunes every string down a whole step. So that's going to make this low E string a D. The A string will be tuned to a G. The D string will be tuned to a C. Uh, the G string will be tuned to an F. The B string will be tuned to an A. And the high E string will be tuned to a D. So everything is just being tuned down a whole step. So just grab your tuners and make sure you get everything in tune because that is just very essential to this, this particular song is that flat, I mean, the really tuned down sound. Okay, so let's start now. We're gonna start with this intro, which goes like this. So it starts with that cool kind of driving rhythm. Um, now what's going on, it's all just the open string, the low, now this, in this case, the D string, uh, but I'm still going to call the string names out by their standard pitch names just so it doesn't get confusing, just for, so you don't have to be thinking that much. So we're going to be muting with our palm muting down here, right against the bridge, the low open six string. And we're going to be picking this rhythm. So we have, starts with one hit, and then we have a little up down. Did that one more time? Then we just have five hits, just straight down strokes. One more time. And then we do another up down on it, a little quick up down. So, so far we have this. And now we start everything over again. As soon as you get this couple little parts, it's pretty much just straight, and then you have a little da dum bum little little upbeat in there. So that right there, as long as you get those feel down and just listen to it, it's pretty easy to just follow along with the rhythm. They start the song, they kind of slide down into it from around the 15th fret. Now you see how I'm going down, up, up, down. Just when it's doing that little pause feel. So it's just going to be down, up, up, down, 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 down. It's, it's essential to kind of mute it a little bit, but still let it have this a vibration that sustains to it after you hit it. Now it's not so killing, killing it out. Okay, then we come to this note. We've got a lot of whammy work in this song. And that's just holding the second fret on the G string. And this the whole next part is going to go like this. All right. So we got that 
second fret, just kind of randomly doing dive bombs with it, with the whammy bar. Then we come to the harmonic here at the seventh fret on the G string. And just do a series of uh, quick dive bars and bring it back up to pitch and do it. So you're just doing a qu series of quick dips. And he does that on every single harmonic that he plays. So after that seventh fret on the G string, you now hit the fifth fret on both the G and the G, a D strings together. Then back to that seventh fret on the G. And then to the twelfth fret on the G and the D strings. So make sure when you're playing those harmonics, you're right over the fret and you're just barely hitting the string. As soon as you pluck it, come off the string so you don't interrupt its vibration of the harmonic. So we got that, and then the second time through the harmonics here, we play, instead of just playing one note on the third string, the D, G string, um, we're going to, at the seventh fret, you're going to pick the D and the G at the seventh fret. Then back to the fifth fret, D and G string. Then back to the seventh fret, D and G. And then to the twelfth fret. Then we have, we end the intro with a, a pick slide, straight from the sixth string while you do a, a fret hand slide. So it just, just kind of creates a kind of a random uh, effect, and that leads us into the main riff of the song. Now this main riff of the song is very identifiable, and I'm going to go through it right now. Okay, so it's basically the same thing repeated four times. Now what's going on here is we have, we're muting again on the sixth string, a down up on the low E string, and then at the second fret on the low E string, and then the third fret on the low E. So we're just hitting each one twice, it's kind of calling up. Down, up, down, up, down, up. And this last one, we're going to do a, a chromatic line. We're going to play the fourth fret once, and then over to the open A string with an upstroke once. So this last two is this: the fourth fret on the low E, then oh, with a downstroke, and then upstroke on the A, open A. All right, then we come to these, uh, this dyad here, which um, is the second fret on the G, and then the third fret on the B string. Just pick the second, third string, and third string together. And then we come to the um, second fret at the, both the B and the G strings together. Then we do that riff that we started with again. And then we come up here to what's uh, it's an E dominant 7 sharp 9 chord, kind of it's known as being the Hendrix chord. We have the 7th fret on the A string, 6th fret on the D, 7th fret on the G string, and then the 8th fret on the B string. So those four strings, hit that twice, a little bit of vibrato on the second one. So. repeat that entire thing four times and that's the main riff in the song um, so that's what we entered in when the whole band kind of came in together after this main riff we go into the actual vocal sections and here's the first verse uh, the verse is very simple it's just this Alright, so we start with the open A power chord, the fifth string open and the second finger, I mean second fret on the D string. Then come to the third fret on the low E string with your second finger. Then back to that open A chord, hit twice. 
with just a down up. Then we're gonna do the same thing, except this last, the second chord now is gonna be the open E power chord, the low E string open and the second fret on the A string with a down up on that. So we have this. And this one's gonna end with the E. Do that again. Okay, now the second half of the verse, we start doing some palm muting and, and uh, a driving rhythm on it. So everything's the same so far, and then we just, just palm mute that open fifth string with uh, down strokes, and then now you're on the second one, you're muting the low E string. Repeat that. And then it ends with a, a hit of one, two, three on the bottom uh, low E string. So that whole verse rhythm again. Okay, and that takes us into the chorus. Now, that verse riff is played three times in the song, but then the third time, which happens after the first solo, there's some fills in it. Uh, the fills are overdubs, so this rhythm still goes on underneath it, and there's a second as a guitar overdub over it. But I'm going to play through the, the third verse, and when it comes to those fills, I'm going to leave from playing the rhythm to actually playing the fill part so you can see where it happens in the actual rhythm itself. Okay, so here we go. All right, so it's just a kind of a an overdub kind of uh, in the beginning. It's 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 really high in the mix, and that last part isn't. So what the first fill is? It's a half step bend at the 12th fret on the B string, kind of a slow bend, and then the 10th fret with vibrato one on the B string. Pretty simple stuff. The second fill is this. Now I'm doing 19 to 17 on the B string, and then we have the 19th fret on the B and the 20th fret on the high E together twice. And then back to the 17th fret on the B string. Now those two fills right there are really high in the mix. And then you can hear from the distance after, over that, he kind of has a volume knob down. He does a, um, a unison bend. So you're holding the first finger at the 17th fret on the high E and then the 20th fret with your third finger on the B string. And you're gonna bend, you're gonna play them both together and bend that 20th fret up to match the pitch on the uh, high E string. But you're gonna have your volume down and then do a volume, so you're gonna pick it. And as you're bending up, you're gonna raise the volume on your guitar. And then he basically just goes, and that's very low in the mix. It's, there's not, it's just kind of, kind of layering and just filling up noise. And it's just a big a hammer on and pull off from the 17th to the 20th fret and back on the B string. And then you just end it with that note, okay? So those fills do happen in it, whether you choose to play them or not, because you do, unless you have a second guitar player, um, the rhythm will have to completely drop out in order to play them, okay? So up next, in the next video lesson, we're gonna take a look at the chorus and the first solo. So stay tuned for that.